I want to show you another example of one of my nodes being connected to the website and also to everything else I have in Obsidian. But for that, let's take a look at a new feature here. If we go to settings and core plugins, there's a new plugin here, all the way down here. Here it is, Web Viewer. Let's switch this on. There are some settings here. I think everything looks good here, but I'm gonna add my website here. Whoops. Uh, and keep this open external links in Obsidian. I think this is a good setting. So let's go back here. Pay attention to the options here because I'm gonna open a new tab. And now there is this one here open web view. So I can either click on a link and see that page uh, on a tab, or I can click here and <laughs> open a browser. Let's close this. This is my website inside uh, Obsidian. And my website uses Obsidian Publish, so this is kind of inception. But here's what I wanted to show you. So if you go to books, I have here a list of the books, not all, some of the books uh, I added to this list, but I'm also doing something here uh, special. I'm writing a little text about each book. So if we click on this one, which is recent uh, addition to, to the list uh, and go back to Obsidian, well, we are still in Obsidian. <laughs> And we can go to, let's open this again in here. So this is my Obsidian Publish items books. And here it is. So what I want to show you is how I'm using this same node for both things. So we have here the title. Uh, this is the cover. This is uh, uh, an Obsidian Publish property. Uh, permalink is also an Obsidian uh, Publish property. But location is the Maps plugin property. And people, as you already know, uh, are people that I, I use this for people to to filter notes that are related to some people and tags. So as you can see here, I have books and books will show all the books. If you go, let's go back to my website. Let's go to my blog because I think it's gonna be easier to find uh, tags. So books will work uh, like one of these tags here. So if I click here, I, I can see a list of all the, the posts in this case uh, with the India uh, tag. Oh, here's an example of an embedded uh, book. So I have this one here, Freedom at Midnight. I have a book and I also have it embedded in this post here. Anyway, let's go back to what I was talking about. So this one here is for the website because every time I use the, the hashtag books, people can click and see all my books. But this other two here, they serve a different purpose. If I want to see everything that I did during my Oxford trips, I can click and uh, look for it using the Oxford trip. And this will, sh I mean the Oxford uh, tag, and this will show me all the posts I wrote, all the not posts, all the notes I wrote, including the posts uh, when I related to that trip. And trip is, related to the maps plugin. If we open the map here, we can zoom in here. Because there is that trip tag, the icon on the map will be this little map here. And the other one, the little building there, that's the hotel. So when I add the hotel tag, it creates that, that, that icon there. Uh, so this is just, uh, to show how a post that is a web post can be used and can be connected to everything else I do on Obsidian. I can filter all that information everywhere. So this post is also in my 
uh, trip journal I linked. I'm not going to show you that because there is too much personal information there. But that post has a link to this post as well. So everything is connected. And I think this is so cool. Okay, that's it for this one. A quick one. If it was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you like what I do here in the channel, please consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube. You can become a YouTube member or buy me a coffee. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you soon.